Hi there. Name's Kennedy Forkfather. A lot of people complain that the Panasonic autofocus system is not fast enough for their needs, and I think they're missing the point of the Panasonic autofocus way of life. Panasonic autofocus was never meant to latch on to a subject and follow it to make sure it got home safely. Panasonic trusts you. It believes in you. It knows you're going to get home safe. You've been doing this your whole life. I thought we explained this in the boardroom meeting. Weren't you there? All right, fellas, the reason I called this meeting today was to explain our new autofocus system to those who don't understand it fully. Do we have any initial questions? I'm just excited to learn. I mean, I was using a Canon dual pixel autofocus system the other day. Like it tracks you. Okay, but I can't wait to see what you have in store for us, boss. It's good to see your enthusiasm, Tim Lee. I'm excited to explain it to you. Now listen here, fellas. Depth from defocus. Bear with me here. When we latch onto our subject, the camera makes a split second decision to further focus on the depth from the object behind it. We defocus that in focus to the object in front. Any questions? I, I have one. Like, why don't we just focus on the subject? Won't it take extra time to focus behind? I don't fully, what do we, how do you depth from defocusing it. I suppose I could perceive how someone might find that confusing, but it's really very simple. You focus on the subject, and then the depth from that subject to the air behind him is defocused. And then we bring it back to the subject. So the depth from the focal point is not in focus, and the subject is. You don't get that? Won't it pulse back and forth when you focus on the subject and then defocus it to return back? There has to be a, a perceivable motion in the shot. It, it's not going to be smooth. You're not getting it. What's in focus is quickly defocused and then brought into focus by seeing the defocus part quickly. And it's obvious. And then we can see what we need to be in focus. It's very fast. I see that, but with Canon's dual pixel autofocus system, each pixel can judge the focal point. That's how it works. Each pixel just triangulates on the subject and it sticks like glue. No hunting, no second guessing. The depth from defocus technology, it doesn't sound ready. When I was in eighth grade, teacher brought in a movie for us to watch. The Outsiders. Little pony boy died in it. Blood everywhere. In the integral scene where pony boy was shot in the lip, he wasn't in focus. He didn't have to be. That touched my soul. The way he was just on purpose. Don't look at me. You remember me the way I was earlier when I was alive in your heart. That's all I want to recreate here. It's not too much to ask, I don't think. Sir, your system's unusable. You can't track a subject without second guessing every second, twice. I think we all deserve a second chance. So should the autofocus system. You focus once, second guess it. We give you that shot here at Panasonic. We're here for you. I'm gonna fire myself from this one. That, that's all you. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So I've been getting a lot of foul mouthed teeny boppers in the comments. Unappreciative of the Panasonic autofocus way of life. Don't make me display it. Just wait. Panasonic is patient. It's not in a hurry, like you teenagers today, with your smartphones. There's only one use for a smartphone, my friend. 
let me just show you. It's to color check your videos. A lot of people foolishly buy a color checker part, the passport. You don't need it. You just take a picture of it. Then you color check that. Then we got it, don't we? We got the LUT. Kiss time goodbye. <laughs> no more wasting time color grading, fellas. I solved it. Sure, it looks like I was just in a car accident, flew head first through a windshield, and died before impact on the pavement. But I returned home to make this video because I care about you. That's why. So this is good, trust me. All right, we're wasting a lot of time today. What we're gonna do today is test the settings because, and first of all, I have some a bone to pick with one of you assholes in the comments there on the G9, where are you? He said something to the tune of, Panasonic autofocus is great if you know what you're doing. Why don't you adjust one of the many settings you've clearly mishappened he said, I'm paraphrasing, because I'm a moron with zero memory, goldfish memory. It erases every 15 seconds. <laughs> Listen, dick bum. You've never touched a G9 in your life is all I know for sure. My GH5S has those settings. The sensitivity and the speed, you can adjust anything you want. Not in here. They ain't in here. I doubled, that was the first thing I checked. I was like, okay, we're going to do this locked on. Where is it? It ain't in here. Why did the Panasonic not give it? I don't know. GH5 has it. Even the G85 has it. So on the G9, you're stuck with it. The default setting. It's just, it is what it is. And it does hunt outside. It's not perfect. But for the most part, it doesn't just lose you for hours in the background. It, it sticks on you. You turn your head once, it's over. But it briefly loses and comes back. The depth from defocus way. So let's be real about what we're asking here. How's it performing today? So far in each video I've made, other than when I lean in or something, I disappear for a second and come back in, testing the autofocus even though it's on the locked on setting and slow and it shouldn't move, it takes forever. Is it hunting here in this position? It's fine. It performs good from what I've seen. I don't notice that it jumps like Samsung would have jumped to those hands. No problem. Things can even wave in front. It just sticks there. How long can we wait for? It'll jump to the background and we do that too much. Ooh. Did it? It still sees me. It still believes in me. Now what if you didn't want to sit here like a lazy ass? You wanted to move around. You wanted to show some things like, oh, look at that. This isn't the setting. Let's test. The setting, let's put it up a speed and see if we can compete with the Canon dual pixel way of life. Yeah, that's right. You see that? Now we're on fast and responsive, but we can test. Well, it tracks us. You're expecting lightning quick results? That's your problem. Fast food nation. Over here, cook a stew, you dick. I'm gonna change it from face detection to a point right here so I can move stuff. Tony Northrop it up in here. Okay, now my head is in that box. And anything that enters that box will take precedent. As long as it's bright enough and tall enough. God damn you, autofocus. Okay. It tracks me, then I move. Huh? That's so smooth. <laughs> that was so, this is so smooth. <laughs> That's fast. I didn't get out of the box. 
See how smooth that is? It's one just zips right to it. Okay, we need to back off all that bullshit. We're back on face detection, but everything's slow now. Locked on and super slow. I was slow before, but not this slow. Minus five, minus three, everything. So, it shouldn't be very fast. Seems about the same. It's the same. Nothing even changes with all these menu items. The problem with Panasonic is it's never reliable or repeatable. The results you get, I could try this mode 10 different times and get eight different results. And then I switch to another mode and that'll look good for the first three tries and then the fourth will just be like, make no sense whatsoever. And then it's like, you can't figure anything out. I would laugh so hard if Panasonic somehow leapfrogs everybody with a new autofocus technique that nobody even saw coming, like superior to phase detection. We'll look at phase detection, like what the hell was that? We used that? I guarantee you, I'll be looking through a Panasonic menu system one day. I'll get to that autofocus page. Oh, pupil detect autofocus immediate or delicate. It's their Achilles heel and they know it, but they just don't seem to want to fix it. Like me, what's my Achilles heel? I'm not the best fact checker. My information isn't very accurate. I could change, but that would take time. I see now why they don't want to do it. It takes time, and time is hard. I'm with you, Panasonic, don't ever change. Make it slower. I don't mind the weight. It's funny, I now have four Panasonic cameras, and each of them has a devastating flaw to it. The G85, it's fantastic, but you have to tap. You can't autofocus with it, and it has no features. It just looks really nice, and it's lightweight, fantastic, but devastating. The GH5S, fantastic, but no stabilization. The Panasonic Holy Grail, and they don't have it. Ouch. The Panasonic G9 on paper fixes most of the issues. It's almost perfect, but the autofocus just is not fully reliable. It's somewhat reliable. It's like a, a father that left the family, but he does come back for birthdays and Christmas events every year on time. But then he drinks at the event and things get awkward. The S1 that we're filming on right now actually has the most flaws of any camera I have in my living room right now. And there's about 15 of them here. But the glorious image coming out of here keeps me coming back like a crack addicted house wife. There's a 7% chance this video gets monetized, so support on the Patreon is a little appreciated right now in these hard times. The autofocus in here is better than all these other ones, although maybe not this mode with the super slow. Probably shouldn't have left it there, but we're doing it. Let me know what you thought is better, the fast or the slow. But it's like, if I want to walk around and say do a workout video and film myself, no. You can't do that on this or any of the four. Can't happen. Also surprisingly, the stabilization basically unusable in this camera with the prime lenses. I haven't seen it work yet. It looked somewhat okay with this adapted Canon glass with stabe in it. Not that you would use this for vlogging, but you would definitely need a stabilized lens for the dual stabe. You might stand a chance, although your arm would break off in the war. There's also the unforgivable lack of a flippy screen. That's my flippy screen up there. It weighs 14 pounds, made of metal, sheet metal and rock. And that's what we got to work with. And that hurts. So we learned a lot. We learned that if you set the Panasonic autofocus to slow, it'll track you. It doesn't matter. But thank you for watching the video and just seeing the glory for yourself. Buying a Camera Conspiracies t-shirt is the tracking tracks me. Even though it's on the slowest setting in locked on mode, it knows what to do.
the cannon would have stuck to me like you wouldn't even have noticed it. It would have been on me like rice on wood. So I'm going to leave. I can't wait to see the footage and see which autofocus mode was worst. They're all the same. They all suck. That's why we love you, Panasonic. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you next.